Hello everybody and welcome back to another Valheim build episode. Uh, in this video we are going to be building a small little barn, quite easy little barn, for all of your boars. Um, a little comfy home for all your boars needs and whatnot and maybe some storage for uh, crops and food and whatnot. So let's get right into it. Alright, so I've already went ahead and uh, cleared ourselves a little spot for this little barn that we're going to be building. And uh, first up, we're going to start off with some, some wood beams, two meter beams. I'm going to lay out the uh, kind of the shape of the structure first. Uh, get that done. And I was thinking something along the lines of this. So it's going to be three of these two meters, so about six meters, and then a slanted a 45 degree angle uh, two meter wood beam, and then going straight across. And I'm thinking about five, we'll do five. That should leave you with plenty of room for your bores. Just like that. Perfect. And right next to it, which I may need to get rid of this stone, think we're going to do. Uh, yeah, let me get rid of the stone real quick. Perfect. So got rid of that. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to place using the stones. I'm going to place these here. Now, I don't want it on there. I'm going to use Alright, so we're going to place a uh, block here, and I'm not going to do a full circle. We're going to do a little shape like this, a little octagonal shape. Like that. Perfect. Should be fine just like that, and we could probably raise it up. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do these. And this will kind of give it like a uh, staggered block shape, I guess. Staggered brick shape, if that makes any sense. This will allow me to place... There we go. Just like that. Cool. And now that we have those, I'm going to start building up the pillars. These on each corner, just like this. And we're going to want this a little, a little tall. Just like that. And we can connect everything. I'm going to actually... Be okay to do that. Is that where? It's not where I wanted it. Right there. Perfect. And we're gonna connect these up. These. Just like that, and now I am going to add a diagonal place here, but I want them to come out like that. We're going to cross just like that. We're going to do that on all four corners. So just like that, and then we're going to have these come out just a little bit. And we're going to connect it all the way back to this side. 
All right, so I built a little support beam just right here, and I'm going to use that just to allow me to possibly put one of these up. Might not work. You know what? I could just, I'm just going to connect it with these. There we go. Perfect. That should connect all the way. And then connecting it on th this side. Just like that. Cool. And finishing it up on the other side. Now I am gonna build this tower up. Oh, can I, if I get up there? It's not gonna let me. Yeah. There we go. Get us up here and place a, probably two more rows of the stone. Just like this, and then staggered with these all the way across okay so we're gonna stop it just right there before it hits the actual uh, silo itself and then while we're up here I'm going to start making the roof and I want to start off with a shallow piece on each end zooming me in shallow piece on each end and then going up like that and then sloping back down it's probably yeah, let's say it's probably gonna break so pieces here There we go. So I just added a small 26 degree beam right there to help support it. Actually looks kind of nice and makes it green. So we will have no worries there. Like I said, just connecting it just like this and it perfectly snaps just like that. Uh, I could, yep, we could do that too. Get that little cross up there and then we can do the same thing on the other side. And I'm gonna also start with these. Started up and then go to this side and get these ones put up as well. All right, so I added a little cross beam here uh, to kind of help with the arch that we're putting up and to also help a little bit more. But actually, it did. Cool. Turn them green. So now we can add these in here. Have them branch back down. It's gonna make them red, but we are going to wait. That did not. Nope, it's slightly moved over. I think I connected them to the wrong piece, which is fine. I just have to somehow correct that. All right, so I did mess it up just ever so slightly, but that's okay. So. Correct it. I'm gonna take these beams. I'm gonna connect it to the joint right here, all the way over to. Ooh, that's not gonna work either. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. That 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 should that should be fine. Maybe. I'm gonna add. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll work just right there. So it'll be. These two little crossings are going to go up. They're going to be just outside of this, which is fine. I'm going to add these across to do the same thing here. Adding it right there. And if you want, you can keep these. It might actually help with the structural integrity of the whole build. And remember, once you start putting walls and everything in here too, it'll work a lot better. And we're going to add these up like that over just like that and we're gonna have to do the same thing on this side boom 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 and boom 
There you go. And then little cross, uh, the cross beams up there, the roof crosses, just like that. And then now we can start putting in the actual roof. Then do. So adding in the 26 degree. Stop it about there just because we have this little silo that we're putting in. We don't want to connect it all the way. And then same thing on this side. Now, if you wanted to, once you get these pieces up, you could very easily take some uh, little wall pieces, the, the wall uh, half walls, and connect them up here. That way nothing is showing. One more in there. Won't let me connect it. Aha, just like that. Oh, that way leaves a little bit open. Then we can take that off as well. So now it's all opened up for the actual silo to be connected up. And we can finish up the roof up here. There we go. The roof has been made just like that. Now we can uh, finish up with just the walls. And like I always show you guys, I like to do little lines like that on the outside. And then flip back over so it's just like that. So what we're going to do all around this thing. Okay, and the other thing too, so with the door here, so see how it's three wide, or well, six meters wide, and we have our wood gates. These only take up two meters, so it's an odd number. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these little pieces half walls and I'm just going to stack them up the side of this just like that that should fix our problem now we can have these placed in I will get rid of these floor pieces and we're going to leave it just like that that way we can actually walk in now, I'm also going to add a cross beam going just like this, connecting it. Another one here. Again, this also just helps with the actual integrity of everything. Doing that. And then we're going to add a ladder because I would like a way for us to get up here. We need to. Having a ladder off to the side here. Oh, actually, no, we might need to move that. It doesn't really fit there. Okay, we're going to add a floor up here. It will allow me to do that. In a nice manner. Go. Get a flooring up there. I'm going to add two posts here. Did it snap? There. Two posts just like that, and they don't connect all the way down, so I'm just going to take a two meter log pole and I'm going to click E, and that should rotate it down to the bottom, so now they're connecting to the ground like that. So now it's all green and everything, so it makes it look a little bit nicer. And I'm going to add a ladder going up to here. Let's add a floor and then the ladder. Just like this. Maybe. You know what? Here. Do it this way instead. The floor is going to come back the other side. It's probably not going to connect all the way down, so you're going to have to do the same thing. Just like that. Now it's connected, so now you can go all the way up. And this will be the little attic space that's up here. And feel free to add floors and everything. I mean, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add floors, and uh, we're also going to add some fences here. So that when you put the bore in, you're not getting into this little area.
All right, so I ended up adding in the floor and now next thing is to block these off. So I'm gonna add the two meter long uh, poles here and then we're going to add a fence. Just not like that. We have to use, go. Just like that, add those in, it's very nice. And doing the same thing on the other side. I, I kind of like the more open design of this, so definitely gonna keep it this way just like that and you can add a numerous amount of things up here maybe you can maybe this could be where you store all your wood and whatnot or you can store a bunch of food and everything up here um, if there was hay bales you probably could store them up here um, little gate there as well and then down here is where you put all of your boar all of your boar would just be sitting down here if you really wanted to if you're worried about it could add a little bit of a fence here, something like this, and then add a little fence gate. Could do something like that. That way, the boar can't get in here. That we can go through the door, and they'll get—they won't be able to be popping out as soon as you op open the door. It's very nice, very quaint. Now we gotta finish the silo. Now for the silo going to just continue and use the wall going all the way around it just like this I can possibly get it there we go just like that and I fell in the hole but we're gonna build this silo going all the way up There we go, so, and then bring it, I think we'll do, yeah, I, th I think we're gonna do uh, three of these walls going all the way up. I think that should work. So just like that, and now after doing that, we are going to add the wood beams. And now I'm gonna make it so, I'm gonna do the two meter ones. I usually do the one meter ones, but I wanna do the two meter ones just cause they are a little bit longer. Okay, I am gonna fly for this because it is a little irritating trying to get up there. You can easily do it, it's just gonna take a lot of scaffolding and I want to hurry up and get this done. But having them all branch completely out just like that, very nicely done. And then what you can do is you can add these. like that and then we're gonna connect each one all the way across there we go Okay, so just like that, and then now we're going to add the 26 degree beams again, but going on top, 
on each end. You have to do the snapping with it, bottom snapping. Just like that. And then doing the 45 degree on the bottom again. like that and then if we really wanted to we can cross a couple of these one up just like that just having just a couple of them cross just like that and then now we can add in the sidings here or the roof all the way around just like that now something I wanted to do as well so before Putting in any roofing on these on the section here, I will usually cross that. If it works, which usually it does, take the 45 degree, add it in just like that. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put these connecting here. Oops, not there. There we go, add them all the way around, and then we're gonna add these 45 degree corner roof pieces, just snapping them to that middle point, going all the way around. Just like that, perfect. And that is our barn. Woohoo, look at that. Now, uh, I will say right now the silo is more decorational at this point, um, but what you can do is you can always make some stairs up to it or anything. It's out of the way. You could always make some stairs that lead up to it. I mean, honestly, if we wanted to, we could do that real quick. We can add something here. go so we added a little bit of a stairway up to here and then we can take out this little thing here and add a small door just like that and voila you are inside and just go ahead and add some flooring into here
like that and then there we go so now we have a little floor in here and you can add storage and whatnot into here there you go and of course we have the barn and everything that we just did and then I'm just gonna go around and do some minor decorations And voila, I have greened it up. So now we've got bushes and trees and vines covering this barn absolutely. And it looks fantastic. I love it. So I think we're going to end it off here. Uh, now that's where pretty much you would just transfer your boars into this barn. Um, I will probably just spawn some in since this is just a building world. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this build, you enjoyed this build, leave a like down below, as well as hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, means you guys actually enjoy my content, and if you do subscribe, I will keep putting out more videos. So if you want more videos, keep subscribing, keep liking, and I will get and I will check you guys out in the next video. Oh wait, I almost forgot. We have our Patreon supporters. I always forget. I am so sorry. I always forget. Patreon supporters, we have. Thank you so much. Uh, I always forget. Uh, Nortia, Nortia, that's what it was. Nortia81, thank you so much for being a amazing Viking Patreon supporter. And thank you so much, T-Rex Gaming, for being an amazing Viking Patreon supporter. Thank you guys so much. And again, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <gasps>